Greetings from Trinity College Nabingo. This is Ezra Amanyuri to present you practice on logic. This is section B of general paper. Study the information provided below and answer the questions that follow. A group of six well-trained commandos have been tasked by the government to arrest or kill a rebel leader that has taken refuge in the jungle. The mission involves locating the rebel leader's hideout, laying ambush and attacking. The qualities of the commandos are Alfred is of a higher rank than Chris, energetic and has acrobatic skills, which are useful in effecting arrests. Betty is of a higher rank than Drake and is a medical personnel. Chris is of a lower rank than Alfred, but is good at laying ambushes. Eddie is of the same rank with Betty, but of a lower rank than Chris. He's a good mechanic, driver, and pilot. Frank is of a higher rank than Alfred, a good map reader, and a skilled spy. During the mission, the following conditions must be observed. 1. The commandos must work in pairs. 2. No pair should have commandos of the same rank. 3. The commando with the highest rank should be the head of the mission. Questions 1. Giving a reason for your answer, identify the head of the mission. Roman 2. State the ranking of the commandos from the highest to the lowest. So our solution is there. When you read through the information provided previously, you will realize that Frank is on a higher rank than Alfred. Therefore, Alfred is below Frank. Then Alfred is of a higher rank than Chris. That puts Chris below Alfred. Then Chris is on a lower rank than Alfred. So he's on the third ceiling. Then Betty and Eddie are on the same rank. Remember that Eddie is on a higher rank than Drake. So Drake has no significant rank, hence being the last one. Now the other the order is there. The ranking is Frank, Alfred, Chris, Betty, and Drake. So Frank hits the mission because he has the highest rank. Giving a reason for each case suggests the pairing of the commandos. So there's a table there, study it. Uh, there is a commando, locating, laying ambush, and attacking. So from the table, we can summarize them like this. One column is for locating, the other role is laying ambush and attacking. So, therefore, locating Eddie, Eddie pairs with Frank because Eddie is a good driver, pilot, and mechanic, while Frank is a good map reader and spy. So Frank will read the map properly, will use the spy skills, okay, these are his skills of being a spy, to locate, and then Eddie will help in driving, repairs, and uh, in case of piloting or being a pilot. Then laying ambush, Drake pairs with Alfred or Drake pairs with Betty. So Drake will lay an ambush while Alfred will arrest the rebel because he's energetic and acrobatic. Uh, Drake can lay the ambush while Betty can also attend to the injuries. Then attacking as the last role, Chris pairs with Betty so that in case of injuries, Betty can attend to them or Chris can pair with Alfred. And uh, this is because Alfred is energetic and acrobatic, hence can arrest the rebel alive. Part C, 
explain the causes of political labor activities in developing countries. One of the causes of political labor activities is greed or overstay in power or power struggle. It is common among developing countries, especially in Africa, whereby people overstay in power, especially presidents. Many people struggle for the same position, but the one there has no intentions of leaving, hence political rebel activities. Number two, rigged elections. So many uh, people go to war with the current government and they carry out rebel activities because of unfair and rigged elections. Then suffocating divergent views or opinions especially of those who are opposed to the existing existing governments. So when people come up with different views that are not related to what the current government is doing, if they have different opinions over situations or policies or whatever case it might be, uh, the political activities are inevitable. Then dictatorship or autocratic rule, whereby this involves the misuse of too much power that is concentrated at the office of the fountain of honor. That too can lead to a political rebel activity. Then widespread poverty. Continued, uh, we are still continuing with the causes of political rebel activities. There is poor foreign policy, whereby the country might have poor relations with the, with the neighbors or other countries. Hence, the need to have a foreign minister who is supposed to improve on the relations. Then there is foreign interference where one country can maliciously or with any other intentions interfere or they, they really come between the affairs of a certain country. So if country X has challenges with country Y, then country Z can do something about it. They can help fund the rebels in the country. Poor service delivery or infrastructure breakdown. Services include health, education, communication and transport, and so many others. So if they are not properly delivered to the masses, the infrastructure can break down, leading to some rebel activities, especially those who intend to change governments that they are opposed to. Then hard economic conditions like inflation, unemployment, oppression of the masses by security forces can also lead to political rebel activities. Now I'll leave you with the assignments of discussing the effects of the political rebellions in developing countries. Send your responses to ezoromeo19 at gmail.com. Thank you very much for watching and listening. For more information, visit the link below www.tricona.sc.ug stroke e library or www.tricona.sc.ug. May God bless you.